The dish that we're gonna be doing are some Thai style fish cakes with a cucumber relish. There's the two parts to this recipe and we're gonna kick off with the cucumber relish. Really, really simple recipe. Just got equal quantities of water and vinegar, about a third of a cup each. And now we're just gonna go in with the caster sugar. So that's gonna give us a nice balance of acidity and sweetness. And then counteract the, the spiciness and the saltiness of those fish cakes. So you don't, wanna, you don't wanna bring it all the way up to the boil. As I said, you've gotta bring it all the way back down. You don't want it to be too hot when you put the cucumber, the chili and the shallot in. Otherwise, it, it's, it's gonna wilt it down too much. Your cucumber will discolor and it's not gonna have that freshness and that, that vibrancy that we're after. So all of the sugar in there has pretty much melted. I'm just gonna hit that with a little bit of salt. So that is now all dissolved. I can go in with a cucumber and that will start to infuse. A uh, long red chili that's just been really finely diced. Some ginger and shallot. Really simple, just grab a little dessert spoon and just work your way over it. Just to save on wastage. To, to try to minimize that and, and maximize the most out of your product. Okay, now with the ginger, we just wanna do a nice fine julienne. So you wanna create a flat base for yourself so you've got control over it. You get yourself a little stack and then you just want some little matchsticks. So we'll pop them into the relish with the cucumber and the chili. And same deal with the shallot or echelot. Slice it in half, keep the base on because that's gonna help you keep it together while you're finely dicing it. Okay, so as you can see there, you've still got the tail on it, which is holding everything together, and that's gonna give you some control. And then we're just gonna create the incisions across, turn it over, and then slice down into some nice fine dice. All right, and that's it, done. So we'll pop that in with the relish. I'll just mix all of that through, and then we'll set that aside. So we'll let it cool down, let it infuse, and then we can crack on with the hero of it. It is the fish cakes. Like I said before, this one kind of came about through a bit of an accident. We were wanting to make fish cakes at home. We had most of the ingredients, but we didn't have any of the aromatics. We didn't have the, the chili, the ginger, the garlic. What we did have though, was some red curry paste in the cupboard. And we thought, well, maybe we could try that. Maybe we could use that and see if it works as a seasoning to give us all of the flavor that we're after out, out of those aromatics and put them into the fish cakes. And it worked an absolute charm. So a nice firm white flesh fish, and we're just gonna really roughly cube it up because the food processor is gonna do all the work. Again, so we had some broccolini stems in the, you know that famous bottom crisper drawer where everything sort of tends to be forgotten? That's where we pulled them out from. And we just finally chopped them up and then put them through the fish cake. It's not only a great way to add texture, but also if you're trying to hide those veggies from the kids, I reckon it's a fantastic way to put something like the dreaded broccolini into a dish. Okay, the red curry paste, which is the, the main seasoning. This is where all the flavor, all the fun's gonna come from. So just a good couple of tablespoons of that. In there, you've got chili, garlic, lemongrass, galangal. Just for a little bit more seasoning, some of the fish sauce and a couple of the kaffir lime leaves. Take the spine out and that's gonna give us a nice fine shred. All right, pop in the kaffir lime. And we just need a little sprinkle of sugar to finish off the seasoning. So we'll throw that onto the food processor. All right, we just need one egg to bring everything together. It's got a bit of grunt, that's what we want. So we're just gonna work that into a paste. This is completely different to if you guys saw the Italian meatball recipe where you wanna be really gentle, you don't wanna overwork it because you want it to be crumbly. Completely different story. This, you really wanna work it, you wanna elasticize it, and that's the texture that we're gonna go for with a good Thai fish cake. I'll just give that one final nudge. Now I can go in with the broccolini, and I'll just give that a couple of quick pulses, work it through, and then we can start to put them into patties. Come on, old timer. Here we go. <laughs> there. Okay, all of the ingredients for the fish cake have come together in the food processor. So we're just gonna transfer that into a bowl, and then we'll start to portion them up into the little fish cakes. Because the protein in here has been worked, it is gonna be quite sticky. So what you need to do, just have a little bowl of water on hand to keep your hands wet so the patties won't stick to it. And just really quickly put them together, and then we'll place them on a little tray. Okay, the relish is done and we've set that aside. We've portioned up the fish cakes. Last thing we need to do is cook them. So what we need, a good heavy base fry pan. We'll get that on the heat. The whole reason for having a heavy base fry pan is to control the heat. 
If you've got one that's quite light and quite tinny, it will let all the heat through, you'll burn on the outside, you won't get some nice even cooking through the middle. So this will help control that and disperse the heat evenly. We're using extra virgin olive oil, and I know you might think that's a bit, bit weird when you're cooking with Thai food or Southeast Asian food, but if you go for a lighter style, so a light in flavor, it's gonna give you the smoke point so it can handle high heat, and it's not gonna impart that, that traditional olive oil flavor that you're all thinking. When that oil starts to get a little bit of a shimmer on the surface, that's when you know you're ready. All right, so we'll just put them in. We don't want to overcrowd it either. So even if you've got to do them in batches, that's okay. The last thing you want to do, try to cram them all in. And what's going to happen is they're going to absorb all of the heat. There'll be nothing left in the pan and they'll start to steam. You won't get any color on them or any caramelization. And that's not what you want when you're cooking some Thai fish cakes. So we'll leave them in there, probably give them three minutes on that side, then we'll flip them just to make sure that we've got enough color and they're starting to caramelize. These have been in for about three to four minutes now. We'll just give them a flip. Yeah, they've got some nice, nice even color on them. They haven't burned, they've got caramelization, which is exactly what we want. So just be gentle with them. Put them one by one. You can really smell all of those aromatics that were crammed into that red curry paste that we used as the seasoning. And they're, they're all starting to, to, I guess, steam in the middle and release, and it smells phenomenal. And then I reckon they're probably gonna need another two to three minutes on this side. We can finish off the second batch, and then we're all good. All right, we can switch that off now. This is our second batch. And they, again, they've got some nice, nice color on them. I'm just gonna pop these into the plate. And I reckon, just as a safety, before you hand it over to your crew, give this one a little taste. Well, that's my excuse anyway. So, a little bit of salt over those, season them up on this one. Every time, every time, so simple. There's about four ingredients in there, but because of that red curry paste, that's where the magic happens. Combine that, cucumber relish, load that in there, and we're just gonna go with some fresh curry over the top. It's hard to beat. There we go, guys. I've given you the inside tip to my Thai-style fish cakes. You have to give that a crack at home. It is an absolute winner. <laughs>